let's have a look at the rubber dam armamentarium and later we will discuss everything in detail. First of all, the rubber dam clamps. We have different kinds of rubber dam clamps here. We will be talking about it in detail. It is the clamp which holds the rubber dam sheet in place during the treatment. They can be winged, wingless, stainless steel, matte, black clamps, gold coated clamps. We also have the tissue retractors, the brinkers and also different kinds of retainers. The additional retain, retention is generally achieved with the help of dental floss or with a small piece of rubber dam sheet, wedges, different kinds of wedges also help us with rubber dam retention. Now look at these sheets. We have rubber dam sheets available in various thicknesses from thin, medium, heavy, extra heavy, special heavy. We have it in the form of rolls of rubber dam sheet which are available in all thicknesses. They can be pre-cut in the form of uh, sheets which are meant for pedo patients that is 5 by 5 inch or the adult uh, size that is 6 by 6 inches. They come in different colors and the requirement and the choice of colors depends mainly on whether you are using it for documentation or for a pleasant working environment. This is an Insta dam over here. This helps in quicker placement of rubber dam sheet. Very useful for aesthetic uh, procedures and bonding. Then we have the wedges. Wedges can be of various thicknesses depending upon your requirement. It is always better to have different sizes with you. Then we have the rubber dam frames. Now this is the most commonly used metal Young's frame which is available in both the sizes, adult as well as for a kid. This is your uh, uh, frame meant for um, uh, this is a plastic frame and uh, the adv advantage of this frame is that it does not create a radio opacity when used in during the x-rays. We have the articulated frame or the foldable frame, the hinged frame and that is a template. The template shows all the specifications. If you look at it in detail, it has a punch marks both for pedo patients, that is the deciduous teeth as well as for the permanent teeth. That is for the upper jaw, this is for the lower jaw, the upper right, left, lower right, left quadrants. Then you have the prinkers, tissue retractors. Now, coming to the punches, you can see that I have two pairs of Einsworth punch over here with a rotating table. And then of course the forceps, it is the forceps which carries the clamp with the rubber dam onto the tooth and engages the tooth. And then you have additional methods of retraction, that is your Teflon, this is an autoclave Teflon. Teflon can be converted into a thin roll and this can be an excellent method of tissue retraction because it is very soft, very gentle and very smooth. So this is how you convert your Teflon into something like a retraction cord. This can be then placed with a retraction cord instrument. Plastic filling instrument is used mainly to dislodge and uh, or dislodge the rubber dam sheet off the wings of the clamp to tuck onto the tooth. So this in general also has the rubber dam napkin. The benefit of the rubber dam napkin is that this acts as a barrier between the patient's skin and the rubber dam sheet. Those patients who are sensitized to latex can be protected with this. So the longer is their exposure to latex, the greater are the chances of developing sensitivity. This can be minimized significantly with this. The rubber dam napkin also absorbs saliva and any kind of moisture. The rubber dam napkin also prevents chronic irritant dermatitis which can develop due to constant contact with rubber dam sheet. Excess saliva which flows along the corners of the mouth can be wiped with cotton or we can just engage a tissue paper. A tissue paper can also be cut in the form of a rubber dam napkin and placed as a barrier between the rubber dam sheet and the patient's mouth. So this is a summary of all the rubber dam materials that we would be needing for performing a rubber dam application. We will now talk about it in detail. Let us begin.